k suppose suppose i have a and i carried out a reaction with the reagent naoh i2 then i protonated after the first reaction has done its work i got b plus c c is yellow in color and d d d and b is something in which i added methanol i got d okay then on d if i add m c p b a m c p b a is an important reagent you have to remember this m c p b a is meta chloro peroxy benzoic acid a uh, previously in the bare vinegar oxidation we just took a peroxy acid in general this is a meta chloro peroxy acid peroxy benzoic acid benzoic acid if you add one oxygen it becomes peroxy benzoic acid meta position you have chlorine so meta chloro peroxy benzoic acid is a peroxy acid so it will it can carry out bare vinegar oxidation so whenever you see mcpba that is meta chloro peroxy benzoic acid and the reaction would be bare vinegar oxidation so fine so you are adding mcpba on a and you are getting d directly so i have to give you some more information in order to find a and that information could be could be could be could be could be what can it be okay let me extend this a little bit we are adding a reagent r on b and you are along with reagent r you are adding heat and you are getting back a fine and about b let me give you an information b is used as a preservative fine so this information is enough uh, and uh, carry out this find out a b c d and find out r fine so let's start discussing it and before listening to any discussion you solve it on your own then only you will learn the reactions we are studying so assuming that you have solved it on your own and you have written properly on paper the structures of a b c and d and you are eager to match the answers let's start the discussion b is used in preservative that means i'm getting a feeling that b has to be a ethanoic acid or acetic acid because uh, vinegar is uh, used in preservative and vinegar is a 7% solution of ethanoic acid so b must be ethanoic acid that i have to guess if b is ethanoic acid then from a to b i know with that which reaction is this i know that this is haloform reaction so and in haloform reaction i know that a carboxylic acid after protonation you get carboxylic acid and iodoform and that iodoform is yellow in color so c has been given as yellow so c must be iodoform no problem and b is ethanoic acid no problem now which from these two information i'll have no trouble in finding out what a is because c is iodoform b is ethanoic acid fine now two carbon and one carbon a is having three carbon and a is such that it gives iodoform test so this group has to be present in a and you just add one more carbon so a is acetone fine no problem a is acetone on this if you carry out mcpba you will get d so finding d is easy because so one of the information is redundant because you know b and this reagent will give you d and you also know a and this reagent will give you d so i would have i should have i should have not given you mcpb i should have asked about mcpb or methanol so but doesn't matter you know a and you know d because mcpb what happens is in mcpb oxygen will be inserted between the group which has greater migratory aptitude 
Here the groups are same. So insert oxygen between any of them. You will get the same compound. So this is what D is. And this reaction from B to D is esterification reaction. You are, this is because this, this is the ester. And you are adding alcohol and you are adding acid. So that is the esterification reaction. But the challenge now is to find R, which this reaction is and this reaction we have studied in this very chapter. So you should be able to find R because B is a acid and A is a ketone. So you are preparing ketone in this reaction. So this must be a reaction that we studied in the method of preparation of ketone. So scan all the reactions you know about method of preparation of ketone and you will definitely get what this R is. Because there was a reaction in which you heated calcium salt of carboxylic acid and then you got ketones. Fine. So now you are getting, you have a carboxylic acid. So R must be something that must be making a calcium salt. And then you heat it and then you will get an acetone. So R must be nothing but calcium hydroxide. If you add calcium hydroxide to B, it will become a calcium salt of carboxylic acid. Fine. And then you heat it, you will get ketone and you will get acetone. How to write the product we have learned in that reaction shouldn't be a trouble to find out that this reaction works. If you add calcium hydroxide to B, you will on heating, you will get A. Fine? Fine. So this reaction of bare vinegar is done. Okay, then we move on and we study a new reaction. This reaction is called <laughs> benzoin condensation. In benzoin condensation, what happens is we take a aldehyde. We take benzaldehyde in particular and along with this we take KCN, nothing else. Now we will start to predict the mechanism and while predicting the mechanism we will come to the final product. Now you have been given benzaldehyde and you have been given KCN. Now think of everything on this earth that can happen with these two reagents. What can happen with these two reagents? Benzaldehyde and KCN. First of all you have to understand that KCN in K plus is not going to do anything because K plus is very stable, it enjoys the normal gas configuration of argon. What can be done is cyanide can do something and if cyanide can do something, what can it be? Cyanide is not a base and even if it would have been a base, there is no acidic hydrogen. So acid base reaction is not possible. This benzaldehyde do not have an acid, acidic hydrogen. We had this discussion when we studied Canizaro reaction. So we are clear with this. There is no acidic hydrogen here. This is not a base. So anyway, acid base reaction cannot occur. Cyanide is a nucleophile. A nucleophile goes and give its electron somewhere. And that something and somewhere cannot be the orbital of hydrogen. So there is nothing to do with hydrogen here. It's a nucleophile. And it goes and it gives its electron in an electron deficient site. And the electron deficient site here is nothing but carbon. There is no other electron deficient site because this phenyl is non-polar. And there's no other site as well. So cyanide has to go and attack this carbon. Fine. So that's the only thing that can happen. And you should appreciate this. And you should be able to predict that this is what is going to happen in this reaction. Then uh, let's do it. This is benzaldehyde. Cyanide is going to come and attack. So this cyanide attack this. The bond from the front side broke. The electron went to oxygen. Oxygen became O minus. And you have a hydrogen like this. Fine. So this is uh, 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 done. What next can happen? What next can happen? You don't have any, uh, I haven't added any source of proton. So this cannot be protonated. It has to remain as it is. So the negative charge has to remain on oxygen. If I don't do anything else, if I don't protonate this, the negative charge here can't remain for very long. And this is not very stable as well. Negative charge on oxygen is stable. But if something that can happen, that will further stabilize it, then that's better. And this is the, the, the next step is the most crucial step and the most crucial step of this reaction. 
and this you have to keep in mind because this thing will not happen in all the reactions it's a rare thing and again what we are doing is we are migrating hydrogen not in the form of hydride but in the form of h plus because suppose suppose if this h plus migrates from this carbon to this oxygen then what will happen is if h plus goes away it will keep its electron into the orbital of carbon so carbon will gain a negative charge and this h plus goes with oxygen oxygen will be neutralized this if that happens then oxygen and hydrogen will form a bond a negative charge will develop on carbon at uh, this time the negative charge on carbon is not highly unstable as we have as as we have a notion of it because there is a resonance the resonance is from the cyanide group if we draw the resonating structure of this compound then this c negative we have to develop a positive charge on the adjacent atom the positive charge can be developed if we put the electron into the orbital of nitrogen c plus and c minus will form a bond and the rs will look like this so the negative charge after resonance comes on nitrogen and nit negative charge on nitrogen and this is sp2 hybridized nitrogen is quite stable so this anion is not highly unstable because of resonance it is a stable anion so this step can happen this step can occur because of facility of resonance after migration of h plus fine now negative charge is at two position nitrogen and carbon and i have told you before we had this discussion before during aldol condensation that the site for reaction is that of carbon although the charge is distributed on both the atoms and greater amount of charge density will be on nitrogen because of stability but still the reactive site will be carbon because that's the site where the charge is unstable so that's the site from where the charge has to be dispensed off first right so i am using this resonating structure even though it is unstable even though this rs is more stable but i am still using this resonating structure because this is the site from which reaction will occur 